What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 14.5 beta 2 to registered developers and soon to public beta testers. Now this comes just about two weeks after the release of beta 1 and in addition to iOS, Apple also released iPadOS 14.5 beta 2, watchOS 7.4 beta 2, and tvOS 14.5 beta 2 but of course in this video we're going to be discussing what's new in ios and ipad os 14.5 beta 2. we're also going to discuss the performance the battery life the bugs bug fixes and more so let's start off by looking at the size of this update and you can see here the size was pretty consistent throughout all devices including the ipad it came in around six to seven hundred megabytes on most devices but of course that will vary it came in at 677.5 here on my iphone 12 and if we go ahead and check out the build number for beta 2 if we go to our settings general about 14.5 you can see there the new build number is 18e5154f so we have an f at the end of the build number which indicates we are likely going to have at least a couple more betas for this update as expected now if we go down a little bit to the modem firmware you can see we do also have a new modem update there as well so it's 1.60 0.01-2 and that number of course will vary as well depending on which generation of device you are on but you should see a modem update regardless of what phone generation you're using now what's new here in ios 14.5 beta 2 and the first thing actually if we go back to our settings general and then to software update you can see that apple has once again tweaked the screen right here so it no longer has the check mark the little green check mark like we saw in beta 1 which i actually liked now it's just a lot more simple it just says 14.5 ios is up to date so that is an all new look personally i think this is a downgrade from what we saw in beta 1 i like the beta 1 screen a lot better but apple could still tweak this and we could still see something different in the final build of 14.5 but that is new here in beta 2. we also get new emoji in this update so there are over 200 new emoji in ios 14.5 and you can see here i typed out some of the new ones so we have this face right here we have the squiggly face you can kind of see them a little bit bigger right here these over here are all new so we have the heart on fire the heart with a wrap on it we have the new headphones emoji which more indicates now the airpods max instead of just some generic headphones before we have the couples right here so you can interchange the couples out for different skin tones so like if you wanted like a black guy with a white girl or like a black girl with a white guy you can do that right there you have this face right there you have the little i'm not sure what these are called yet uh, but you see the faces right there we also have this face right here which is a girl with a mustache so i guess more for like gender equality and kind of just not leaving anybody out apple wanted to make these emojis for everybody which is nice so lots of new emojis here in 14.5 you can go ahead and check those out for yourself inside of the messages app or wherever you type your emojis now some more changes in 14.5 beta 2 take place inside of the music application so first off if we go to an artist page or an album page you can see that the download button now just has the little plus instead of having the plus add as you can see there in beta 1 on the left beta 2 is over here on the right so you can see the button difference right there and if you go to the actual album you can see up in the top right that we just have that simple plus icon instead of saying plus and add right there in the top right and then inside of an album or inside of a playlist anywhere inside of the music app you now have swipe gestures so if we swipe over you can see we have these different gestures like we do in the podcast app so you can see here on beta one you couldn't swipe anything it would just kind of play the song so it didn't work at all but here on beta two if we go back to that album here you can see i can go ahead and swipe over to add you can see they're added to the library just from that if we swipe to the right you can see you get these different options as well so you can swipe not all the way over or you can swipe all the way over to perform different actions again very similar to what we see in the podcast app in 14.5 so we swipe all the way over it goes to playing next or if we do this and tap on the blue one or the uh, orange one right there it says playing last and then if we go back to the right swipe gesture you can see if you don't swipe all the way you now get the delete or the add to library button right there which is really nice i really like these swipe gestures right here and also it no longer shows the little plus or the download on the side and now just has the three dots so if you tap the three dots you get this pop-up menu now and you didn't get that before on beta one or any other version of ios now also if we go to the three dots up in the top you can see there's a difference there as well so if we tap these three dots it pulls up a menu like this instead of like this 
on beta one and previous versions. So it's a lot quicker and a lot cleaner in my opinion. You can see the play is up top right there. We never had a play option at all in music. And then if we go to the now playing screen and we go to those three dots right there, you can see that has been changed as well. And it just looks a lot better and it comes up a lot faster as well. Take a look at the difference in speed between these two. And it just looks a lot clunkier on previous versions, but now it looks a lot more fast and modern here in beta two. And I just like the options there and the different glyphs look a lot cleaner and more modern in my opinion. We also get a new action inside of the shortcuts application. So you can see now we have the take screenshot action, which is new here in beta two. And you can add this to any shortcut you want to, which is nice. And hopefully Apple keeps adding on things to the shortcuts application in terms of actions. We also have a new feature revolving around game center. So Apple is trying to push game center. It seems like again, because some applications will ask you to connect to your game center for enhanced multiplayer. So it asks you to connect to play with friends if you want to. So I haven't seen this at all, but Apple did mention that this is new. Now, speaking of things that Apple mentioned that are new in beta two, you can see here we have the release notes for this update. And as usual, there's really nothing too noteworthy, nothing really to talk about in here, except for one thing. So if you go down to the privacy section, you will notice that Apple now mentions that the microphone will now be muted when the smart folio case is closed on your iPad. So you can see there it says, now mute the built-in microphone when its smart folio is closed. To avoid unnecessary recording the muted signal, the default behavior is to interrupt an audio session that is using the built-in microphone when the smart folio is closed. So basically the microphone will now be muted completely when the case is closed, which I believe that should have been the case from the beginning, but nonetheless, Apple has fixed that here in beta two. Now, as far as any other changes, I'm sure there are more that I will discover after using this for a little while. I've only been using it for about an hour, an hour and a half now. So I'm sure I will find more new features and changes and that of course will be shown off in my follow-up review coming this weekend, likely on Saturday. But as far as bugs and bug fixes, let's first talk about some bug fixes. So some people are reporting that the green tint bug has been fixed in this update. So in 14.5 beta two, some people with the iPhone 12 have reported that their green tint issue has gone away. Now me personally, I have not had this on any of my devices, any of my iPhone 12 devices. So I cannot confirm or deny this, but I've seen some people on Reddit and on different places and on Twitter talking about how this has been fixed, but others are saying it has not. So, you know, I'm sure that Apple would have mentioned if it's been fixed, you know, in some type of release notes or something like that. But some people are saying it's fixed, but we'll have to wait and see. I would assume that if it's not fixed, we might get like a 14.4.1 to fix that or something like that. So we'll talk more about that later on. Another bug that has been fixed here in beta two is that the Peacock TV application now opens properly. So a lot of people had issues with this application just crashing on launch, like we had with multiple applications, including the PlayStation app and some of the Microsoft Office apps. Now the Peacock app was the latest one that just simply not open and crash, but now that has been fixed here in beta two. Now, as far as other bugs that I do not believe have been fixed, but I will be able to tell you guys in my follow-up video is number one, the loud notification. So sometimes when I get a notification, it will be loud, like abnormally loud. It will be kind of quiet at the beginning and then loud at the end. Sometimes it just won't match up with my volume, just really inconsistent notification sounds I've noticed in 14.5 and 14.4 as well. So hopefully that's been fixed. I will report on that this weekend and the same with the airplay and the airdrop issues. So I had issues with both airplay and airdrop on beta one. I talked about this multiple times in my videos and hopefully that's been fixed again. I will let you know this weekend. Now, as far as the performance goes in iOS 14.5 beta two, it feels very smooth so far and the improved you know, animations and the menus here inside the music application are going to be a big deal for me because I use music a lot. I have Apple Music, of course, and I use this a lot and it already feels just so much faster and just so much more modern. I don't know, it's just the menu system and how everything pops up immediately. I really like that. So that's one reason I think this feels a lot smoother than beta one, but in terms of just overall raw performance, there's not gonna be a huge change, although the Geekbench scores were actually higher than beta one. So we got a 1595 on the single core and a 4118 on the multi-core. So some really strong scores there from beta two of 14.5. 
So I would assume that this will perform better for most people compared to beta one. But as far as battery life goes, battery life, it's kind of too early to tell. Of course, you guys know I've only been using this for a little while, but I've not noticed any kind of drain or anything so far with my usage. Although I will say once again, beta one did not get as good a battery life as 14.4 did. So hopefully this beta will improve on that battery life. I didn't have any standby drain issues or anything like that, but just the overall battery life just wasn't as strong as it was on the 14.4 public release, which is kind of expected again for a beta one, but hopefully beta two and the further we go on, Apple kind of improves on that battery life. So now when can we expect to see iOS 14.5 beta three? And I would expect that either next week or the following week. Now it's kind of hard to say because Apple is currently on a two week cycle, or at least they were for the first beta to the second beta. But when we go from beta two to beta three, sometimes they drop it back to one week. So there is a possibility of seeing that next week on the 23rd. But if not on the 23rd or 24th, then we could see it in the first week of March. Now, I will say that if we get a 14.4.1, that will likely be within the next two weeks. So I would not be surprised to see Apple release 14.4.1 on the week of the 22nd and then release 14.5 beta 3 on the first week of March, the week of March 1st. So we'll have to wait and see. Anything is possible at this point. Apple is very kind of inconsistent with their release schedule. So we'll have to wait and see on that. Of course, you guys know I will bring you a video no matter what when that comes out and I will keep you posted on Twitter as well. So make sure you guys are following me over there. Make sure you guys have the bell clicked for my channel here on YouTube as well so you don't miss any new updates. But yeah, guys, that is iOS 14.5 beta 2. A lot of new changes, especially inside of the music application. Also got some new emojis. We got the new software update screen. We have a new shortcut action. Just a lot of new changes in beta 1 and beta 2. And I'm sure there are even more, once again, that I have not covered yet that I will cover in my follow-up video this weekend. But if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss beta 3 and of course any future iOS release video as well. So anyways guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.